everyone, I'm meteorologist Whitney Huddleston. One of the defining moments of 2024 is coming up very soon on April 8th. We want to get you prepared and informed with a series of Eclipse 101 primers before the big day. In part four of our 101 series, we're going to discuss how to view the eclipse without the specific glasses for the eclipse. Maybe you forgot to buy them, they're sold out, something like that. Are you a procrastinator like me? If you haven't had time to grab some of the Eclipse Ready glasses to view the show on April 8th, there's still an easy way to still view the Eclipse in a fun way with the supplies you may already have at your house. To start things off, let's go what over what supplies you'll need to make a pinhole camera to view the Eclipse. Basic health household scissors, just like this. We've got a pin and or a paper clip or a thumbtack, things like this can all work to poke a hole in aluminum foil that you probably have in your kitchen. All you're going to need is a small piece of this, by the way, as well as a little bit of tape and either cardstock or do like I did if you have thinner paper and kind of piece it together so that it's a little bit thicker than normal. And that is all you'll need. And here's a picture behind me if you'd like to pause on your phone or your computer wherever you're watching this and screenshot what supplies you'll need to find. It is right here behind me. Okay, first off, you're gonna wanna cut a small one to two inch square or rectangular shaped hole in the middle of one, not both of your sheets of paper. One of them you're not gonna touch at all. We'll use it during the demonstration here in a minute. So I'm gonna cut a small little hole here using these scissors that I already had at home. Kind of cut there in the middle. Cut out a one to two inch, I'm going to do a square shape here in the middle of my piece of paper. All right, I've almost got that done. This is only going to take a few seconds to a minute to complete. And there we go. I've got a square right in the middle. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger here. One to two inches across. And then I'm going to get my tin foil out. All right, pretty good size little hole in the middle of one of my sheets of paper right there, okay? Put that to the side. We're going to get our tin foil out. We don't want to waste here. We don't need very much of it. So I'm just barely going to pull a little bit off here. And we're going to get a piece of that that matches or is a little bigger than the hole we just cut. You see there? All right, now we're just going to tape it on. So we grab a little bit of tape here. Put the tape, very simple. Now you see the aluminum foil over the hole. Okay, now we're going to flip it. We're going to poke a hole. Now if you don't have a thumbtack, Maybe you have a pen or a pencil, really anything sharp works for this. Paper clip as well. I'm gonna use this thumbtack. Poke a little hole, not very big. Right there in the middle. Now we're ready. We've got this other piece of paper and we're gonna head outside and test this thing out. Didn't have time to get these? No big deal. We got this right here. We just made it in about a minute all the stuff you need right here. All we have to do is now demonstrate by placing this piece of paper that you haven't really done anything with quite yet on the ground. All right, now stand above it. This part is important. The sun needs to be to your back and it's gonna be a little bit higher in the sky on April 8th when we see totality. Now place your other piece of paper that we poked a hole in right here and you're essentially gonna lean down and go right up over your other piece of paper right here. It is gonna project an image. You see that right there? Now the further you get away from your second piece of paper that's on the ground, the larger that projection is gonna be. You get a little bit closer, you see it's a little more dialed in. This is going to look really cool and is a super safe way to be able to view the eclipse if you do not have glasses. You can go back and forth there. Now say you don't have these items at home, but maybe your kitchen is stocked. 
You can use a colander too to view the eclipse in the same way that we just did this. And if you are taking some really cool pictures in a safe and fun way, or maybe you make one of these, we definitely want to see those pictures. All you have to do is download our 6 Plus app, click near me in the bottom section of the app on the bottom right, and then upload your images. We definitely want to see all of those and tune in next week. We've got another video coming.